Hello, hello, and welcome to a little video about the introductions to system of equations, day two. Now, just like regular equations, systems of equations have more than one type of solution. Let's take a look. Sometimes we get one solution. Graphically, if this is our quadrants, we'd have one line somewhere here. Let's pretend, I'm just inventing them. Hey, there we go here, and then they would cross at some point like this, and we would have an answer. And the answer would be wherever they cross. Algebraically, uh, these would look like, I don't know, two equations with different slopes. I don't know, negative 3x minus 7. So the slopes are different. If the slopes are different, they will absolutely cross each other. Okay, now, do we have no solutions? Yes, that happens. If we imagine a quadrant, no solutions happens when the lines don't cross. And let's see if you remember what those are called. They look like this. What are those types of lines called? Parallel lines, that's right. So how would that look like algebraically? Well, we would have two equations with the same slope, but different y-intercepts. So if they have the same slope, but the y-intercepts are different, there's no way they're ever going to cross. We also have something that's called infinitely many solutions, just like in our regular equations. If you imagine this is our quadrant, if we graphed both lines, they would go right on top of each other. This happens when they have uh, the same everything. Okay. Now, when we're solving them, remember, if we get one solution, we'll get some sort of answer. If we get no solution, we'll get something like a, a false answer, like 3 equals 5. And infinitely many, if we're solving it without graphing it, we'll get a true answer, like 5 equals 5. Let's explore that by doing our first method called substitution. Here I have some steps in order to help us in case you need that something to look along um, while solving this is how we'll do it first we'll choose an equation where a variable is already isolated like an x equals or a y equals the second step is to substitute the equations from step one into the other equation we'll distribute we'll combine like terms and solve for whatever variable and then we'll substitute it back in let's check it out and let's start on the top left. Here it looks like I have a y equals equation. So I'm going to substitute y. Excuse me, I selected the highlighter. That's rude, computer. Oh, that's rude. Oh, now you're highlighting. Okay. Why are we behaving this way? You guys see this? You guys see this? You know what? I think... My computer just wants to be plugged in, so let's do that. Thank you for the small intermission. I bet you the second I plug it in, it'll be smooth. Look at that, that smooth sailing. Okay, so for this substitution problem, I see that y equals negative 1. I'm going to use that and substitute it in. What I mean is, I'm going to replace the y in the second equation. So instead of 6x minus 5y equals negative 19, I'm going to replace y with negative 1 because that's what y equals. So I have 6x minus 5 times negative 1 equals negative 19. Let's solve oh. Let's solve it. 6x says 6x. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. 
still equals negative 19. Next, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. 6x equals negative 24. And I'll divide both sides by 6. x equals negative 4. Now, lucky ducky us, we already have what y equals and what x equals. We don't really have to do much. Negative 4, negative 1. Oh, I don't remember what I highlighted with. I think it was this. I can't see because my screen is on a yellow print. All right, this one was easy because we already had y defined. Let's see if we can do that again. This time, instead of having y equaling a number, we have y equals 2x. Totally fine. We can still substitute. Since we have a y equals, we'll replace it into the second equation. So instead of 2x plus y equals 16, I'm going to have 2x plus 2x equals 16. 2x plus 2x is 4x. And then of course, so I combine these like terms, and now I'm going to divide both sides by 4. x equals 4. Now unfortunately we're not done, because we don't have y yet. We do know that y equals 2x, which means y equals 2 times 4. Two times four is eight. So our answer is four, eight. But let's step it up a notch. In this one, I don't have an a y equals, I have an x equals. So this time I'm replacing x. So instead of three x plus four y equals eight, I'm going to have three times 16 minus 4y plus 4y equals 8. Let's solve it. The first step that I have to take here is to distribute that 3. 3 times 16 is 48. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. And the 4y from before just tags along, still equals 8. Next, what I notice on the left side is like terms. I have a negative 12 and a 4y. All right, so 48 still stays. Negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8. So I have 48 minus 8y equals 8. I'm going to continue by subtracting 48 from both sides. So I'm left with negative 8y equals negative 40. And then I'll finish by dividing by, I chose blue, by dividing both sides by negative 8. y equals 5. Fantastic. We got y. Now we need to solve for x. being slow today and you're plugged in how rude okay so I have this nice little equation for x equals let's solve it x equals 16 minus 4y which is really 16 minus uh, 4 times 5 because that's what y is we found out x equals 16 Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, so 16 minus 20, which means x equals negative 4. Our solution is negative 4, comma 5. Let's do the same thing here. We're going to take this uh, y equals equation, which is the second one. And we're going to plug it into the top. So, 5x plus 2, and instead of y, 
negative x minus 3, and it equals 9. Gosh darn it, I selected highlighter. Come on, buddy. There we go. Step 1 is to distribute that 2. 5x stays 5x. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And that still equals 9. Let's combine some like terms. 5x minus 2x is 3x minus 6 equals 9. Next, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So that 3x equals 15. And I'll finish by dividing both sides by 3. And I'm just finishing the, the search for x, right? Because we've got to find y. x equals 5. We have a nice y equals equation. Let's use it and plug in 5 for x. So instead of negative x, I'm going to have negative 5 minus 3. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. So our answer is 5, negative 8. Okay, last two. Oh, we graphed this one. Let's see how this goes. Now, this one is y equals. They're both y equals. So instead of substituting them, we're going to set them equal to each other. Let me explain why. I'm going to write this, and you tell me if I'm right. Does y equal y? Sure does. So let's replace the left side with the top equation, x plus 4, and the right with the bottom equation, negative x plus 8. All right, let's solve. The first thing I'm going to do here is add x to both sides. So now I've got 2x plus 4 equals 8. Next, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. 2x equals 4. And finish by dividing both sides by 2. x equals 2. Well, let's check. I think I don't want. To, I don't know if I can flip screens and see this, but I'm pretty sure this is the answer. All right. Now let's find y by using whichever equation we want. I feel like using the top equation today. y equals x plus 4. x is 2. So y equals 2 plus 4. y equals 6. Our answer is 2 comma 6. And I'm pretty sure that's what it was when we graphed it. Let's try one last one that's similar to that. This time, these are both x equals is. So, does x equal x? Sure does. That means we can put the top equation on uh, the left side and the bottom equation on the right side. Well, let's solve it. The first thing that I feel like doing here is adding y to both sides. So we've got 4 equals 3y minus 8. Then I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So that's 12 equals 3y. And finally, divide both sides by 3. So 4 equals y. Great. Because we found y, we can plug in whichever equation we plug it into whichever equation we want since they're both x equals is. What do I feel like doing? You know what? The top one looks easier, so I'm going to do that. x equals negative y plus 4. Okay, 
Well, x equals negative 4 plus 4. Well, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. x equals 0. So our answer is 0, comma, 4. Okay? If you have any questions, please let me know, or whoever is helping you out with this, know. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful rest of whatever day it is for you. Mm, bye!